Hello everybody, it's Mrs. Pound and we're in chapter 2.1 about weathering and erosion. And we're taking a look at section 213 on mass wasting. So our objectives today, we have a lot of them, are to distinguish among various forms of mass wasting, determine how various factors contribute to mass wasting events, infer reasons why people might want to build in locations prone to mass wasting, and identify methods of reducing the risk of mass wasting. So mass wasting is the downhill movement of loose rocks and soil caused by gravity. As you can see in that background picture, there has been some rocks falling. A cause of this is called regolith. It's the loose layer of rock and soil. So I have this picture to try to show that loose layer that has let go here and gone down the hill. So there are many types of mass wasting, including landslides. This is the rapid downhill movement of a large amount of soil and rock. And I have this picture here of a road uh, by a steep hill. And what I want to point out is that they, there has been a landslide in this area, and they're trying to contain it by putting basically some fencing material here, kind of like a net to catch the things from falling down. So sometimes we have to build roads through these types of areas. And I'm sure you've been by a road where you've seen where landslides have taken place. Another common thing they will do in areas like this where they have a road is they can build uh, a structure over the top of the road that prevents the material from falling onto the roadway and onto cars. Landslides are commonly triggered by heavy rain or snowmelt, volcanic eruptions, and earthquakes. And back here, I like this picture because you can actually see the landslide taking place. All that dust and things in the air is because the landslide has just taken place. There are also mud flows. This is the rapid downhill movement of a large mass of mud and debris through natural channels. And you can see that happening here around some houses. Okay, another form of mass wasting is soil creep. This is the extremely slow downhill slide of soil. You can see here in this picture that the fence is not straight. The reason the fence is not straight is because soil creep has happened. And one way to prevent soil creep is to have vegetation holding everything. So to make sure that vegetation is planted to hold the soil together. Another thing that you could do is to put in some kind of drainage so that um, you have less water. Although in soil creep, there, it does tend to be less water than some other forms, but drainage also helps. There is also what is called earth flow. This is the movement of wet soil down a slope, and you can see the earth flow in the background here. Uh, again, uh, it looks like some, uh, the vegetation is down, perhaps some better vegetation there, maybe some drainage would help in a situation like this. And sometimes we just don't have any choice of where we use land. You know, this is farmland. The animals have grazed and probably grazed that vegetation down. Now, all of these involve soil moving downhill. So our objectives today were to distinguish among various forms of mass wasting, determine how various factors contribute to mass wasting and that, infer reasons why people might want to build in locations prone to mass wasting. Um, there are just many reasons we talked about. Uh, maybe it's the only land they could afford. Uh, maybe it's we have to build a road in a certain location because that's just the easiest way to get from point A to point B. Perhaps there are other features there that are desirable. Uh, maybe there's a stream that provides some power for uh, manufacturing. And identify methods of reducing the risk of mass wasting. We talked about putting up uh, like fencing type materials. I did not mention retaining walls, but I had mentioned that in a previous video. Drainage, 
and planting vegetation to hold soil together. So make sure you write down your five questions and I'll be back with another video.